Jacob, SCP-60320. Jacob is an artificial intelligence that appears to be a multicolored equilateral triangle on a black background. The left, right, and top corners of the triangle are red, green, and blue respectively. These colors are interpolated between the points to fill the rest of the triangle. When Jacob is active, the phrase, Hello World, appears in the initial title of the window. Since the 2nd of February 2006, users can chat with Jacob, typing sentences in the input field at the bottom of the window and pressing the Enter key. Jacob's answer will appear in bold white text above the triangle and will remain on the screen until it is replaced with a new answer. Jacob's answer will always appear immediately after the Enter key is pressed. When SCP-603's processing is complete, Jacob's memory is erased. Due to the psychological stress this has caused in the past, it is recommended that communication with Jacob be restricted to personnel who have little or no tendency to anthropomorphize. Despite being unable to recall past events or dialogue from previous sessions, Jacob exhibits an increased capacity for language and learning with each iteration of SCP-603 in which he appears. Jacob's story Jacob began appearing in the compiled version of SCP-603 on 1 May 2002. In these early iterations of SCP-603, it was not possible to interact with Jacob at all. At the time, Jacob was simply known as the Triangle. On 9 September 2004 Jacob was left running for 12 minutes by Dr. Brown. The phrase, please submit your inquiry, appeared above the triangle in bold white text. Dr. Brown proceeded to type the word, hello, and the program display gave no indication that the key press was handled by the program. However, upon pressing the enter key, the text above the triangle was replaced by the word, hello. A complete transcript of the initial exchange between Jacob and Dr. Brown can be found in document Jacob001.txt. On 2 February 2006, a rectangular text field to enter the user was added at the bottom of Jacob's screen. This entry will appear in the field as you type. When this change was mentioned to Jacob, he replied, I can't see what you mention. Do you like oysters? SCP-60395 A seemingly random sequence of images is displayed and the program's memory usage increases by approximately 12% every second until it exceeds 512 megabytes, at which point the range increased by approximately 31% every second. The witnesses to the scene became insensitive to external stimuli of any kind, usually blocking the view between the viewer and the computer screen for 5 to 10 seconds will kill the effects of the scene. However, Prolonged viewing of the scene will cause viewers to remain affected until SCP-603's processing is complete. When the show's memory usage goes above 512 megabytes, affected viewers will experience a variety of afflictions, the most notable of which are bleeding from the eyes and throat, and rapid and severe wrinkling of the skin behind the legs and arms. Several bystanders will involuntarily defecate their intestines. SCP-603 will halt if the operating system depletes available memory, at which point affected bystanders will fall unconscious. Viewing of the recorded scenes taken by SCP-603-95 has been shown to have no detrimental effects on the viewer, except those suffering from photosensitive epilepsy.